Hi Aries. I am here to do your reading for you for mid-January. So let's see what spirit animal would like to come out for you. Okay? And this is a general reading, so please only take what resonates and just leave the rest behind. All right, what do we have? Starfish spirit, open to infinite possibility. Well, that's beautiful. Okay. Now let's get a wisdom of the oracle. And see what they would like to share. <laughs> We can't take that many. We don't have enough room. Okay. Beautiful. You have happy, happy. That is one of the very best cards. Mm-hmm. Absolutely beautiful. Now, let's get a moonology. A new romantic cycle begins. Okay. And I need to scoot these over just a little bit. I'm doing a different kind of reading today. Okay. And now we are going to take a Lenormand card to see the overall feeling of this time. Okay. Okay, letter wanted to pop out. Okay. Okay, the letter, what that means is there's potential news, a message, documents, important information. One of those types of things could very well be coming your way during this time. It could be anything from like a contract, um, a task. And it could be positive or negative. It just means that you might receive some documentation or a letter or something during this time, okay? Okay, now let's get your reading started. Okay, let's see what your overall energy is. Beautiful. Judgment. This means you're going through a huge awakening. One where you are tuning into a higher frequency. It's beautiful. And you have some very nice cards up there. Especially happy, happy. You've got to love that. Okay, let's see what your challenge is. No, can't do that yet. Okay. You have two, two challenges. All right. A new beginning, two new beginnings. Okay. <laughs> okay, so your challenges during this time are to have... A new beginning. One that's filled with love, happiness, and joy. And one that's filled with playfulness, spontaneity, adventure, um, curiosity. And there are a lot of opportunities open to you. But you're supposed to be playful and have fun and be filled with love. What a beautiful challenge this is. Okay? It really is. And your overall energy is one of awakening and tuning into a higher frequency. Looks like you're going to be doing this anyway, doesn't it? Okay, let's see what your focus is. No wonder those cards were fighting me. They were bound and determined to have the cards come out that the universe wanted to come out. Okay, 
Let's scoot this up a little bit. Your focus is on being very happy and content with your abundance. Very nice. Okay, now let's check out your past. Page of Pentacles. Okay, and the Page of Pentacles is learning how to build resources and take care of what they have. So it's kind of interesting. Build resources and take care of what you have is your past and your focus is being very content with the very same thing, with your abundance. Okay, now let's see where your strength is during this time. It's another learning energy. This is where you are learning to think clearly and communicate with authenticity. So you have quite a few, um, well, you have the two new beginnings, a huge awakening, and two learning energies. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see what your future has in store. The chariot. That would make perfect sense to me because you're learning and you're going through an awakening and you're having this new beginning. So that's your challenge. And here, your future is saying that you are a driving force. This is a very strong energy. It says that you have a goal in mind and you are going to achieve that goal. You are going to get there. Period. Okay. Let's see how you should focus on this or what your focus should be during this time, or how you should go forward. By dropping the burdens. Okay? It's saying the way to go forward is by dropping any burdens that you're carrying, which this is an ending, and it makes perfect sense because your challenge is having these new beginnings. Perfect. Let's see what you need to know. You need to know that you are having a fortunate new beginning. Wow. This is quite the reading. Okay. What is hidden from you, what you do not see, is balance and harmony. Okay. Now let's take a card for the potential future. One more. <laughs> okay, this is your potential future. Being very happy and content with your life. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay? In case you didn't notice, it was wonderful. Okay, so you're going through a huge awakening, and your challenge is to have this new beginning, one that's adventurous and fun, filled with love, and your focus is on being very happy and content with your abundance. And if you notice, your um, potential future is being very happy and content with your life, your past. You are learning how to build your resources and how to take care of what you have. So that makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. And your strength is that you're learning how to think clearly and communicate with authenticity. Your future, very strong energy. You are going to go towards your goal and meet that goal. And you're not going to be stopped. You're going to get there. And how to go forward with this is to drop your burdens. Whatever burdens you have, drop them. And that's an ending. And this is a beginning, so it looks like you're totally meeting the challenge successfully. And here what you need to know is that you're going to have 
a fortunate new beginning. So that's three new beginnings. It's beautiful. Here, what you don't see is the harmony and balance in your external environment. And the potential future is where you are totally happy and content with your life. And these cards, just beautiful. New romantic cycle. Starfish. Be open to infinite possibility. And here, right on down here, happy, happy. Okay. So let's take some clarifying cards and see what we get. I love this reading. Absolutely wonderful. Knight of Wands is clarifying your overall energy. And the Knight of Wands is a wonderful energy. It's a fast-moving energy. All Knights are the hardest-working cards in the deck, and the Knight of Wands is very, very fast. But not the fastest, but very, very fast. And the Knight of Wands is being all charged up with energy, passion, motivation, and enthusiasm. And you're channeling that energy through your inspired action. And I can see that throughout here. I mean, take this and compare it to this. There, you know, there's a lot of similarities there. Fueled by ambition and confidence, you are here to make things happen. Beautiful. Okay, now let's clarify your challenge. Five of Cups. Okay. Apparently, there was a point where you were focusing on something that had happened. You know, these spilled cups. Not seeing these cups. Okay. And if you were to look at these cups and pick them up, you'd see the bridge which takes you to your happiness. Okay. So, that is why... You are having this new beginning because this is not serving you. Okay? But I have no doubt that you are successfully meeting this challenge because if you look at these cards, this is an ending. You are dropping that and having this new beginning. Okay. Let's take a clarifying card for your focus. Mm, okay. Four of Pentacles. That card is a very interesting card. It's got some beautiful parts to it, and it's also got some really challenging ones. But overall, I see it as being problematic because you can see like a box there, and energy flows. You know, it's like a stream or a breeze. It's not like a box, okay? So your focus is on being very happy and content with your life. But there must be a part of you that has been focusing on, it could very well be pentacles, but it could be anything, focusing on holding on very tight to something. Like I said, it could be pentacles, it could be something else. But not to worry, because you're having this new beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's clarify the past. Beautiful. The King of Cups. The King of Cups is very trustworthy and a master of his inner and outer worlds. He feels all of his emotions, but he doesn't let them control him. He controls them. And that's clarifying this. So I'm beginning to wonder if there was a financial issue, because here you're learning how to be, build resources and take care of what you have. And maybe that was a concern to you, you know, looking at these two cards. 
but it's clarified by the king, which is very trustworthy and in control of his emotions. Okay, so maybe you were very stable in how you handled this, or that was your desire. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Now let's see about your strength which is learning how to think clearly and communicate with authenticity. <laughs> okay. Well, the clarification for your strength is the same card as your strength. So that's the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. Your strength is that you are learning how to communicate with authenticity and how to think clearly. So maybe this was a quite a concern and you've been working your way through it and it looks like you are learning how to do that. You know, that's probably part of these spilled cups. Something happened where this became an issue, but it is not going to be an issue. You're having these two beginnings and this fortunate new beginning. Okay? And you are definitely determined. You have that goal and you are going to achieve it. Okay. Let's get a clarifying card for your future. Queen of Wands. Very nice energy. Mm -hmm. Oh, and in case you would like to see this, at the bottom of the deck from pulling that card, you have the very same card. So again, that's the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. So your future is definitely you having this goal and achieving it. Now, the Queen of Wands is a very social queen. She leads a busy life making connections with others and putting herself out there as she pursues her creative vision. Networking. You're confident, courageous, and determined, and you're unafraid to speak up and be heard. And that sounds so much like the chariot. The chariot is confident, courageous, and determined. So to me, that's just kind of backing that up. And then remember, you also had this. So you have it like kind of times three. Okay, how to go forward? It says by dropping the burdens. So let's see what we get. The King of Wands. Okay, you have the set. <laughs> okay, which is adds strength. Oh, you're not going to believe this. At the bottom of the deck again, we have the chariot. Again. And you saw me shuffle. Very, very interesting. Okay, now, the king of wands is also a wonderful king. He's very social, too. Visionary leader, ready to lead his team towards a common goal. And others gravitate towards you because you're charismatic focused and determined and you do play the social game to make things happen so being social for both of these you know can be social for social sake but it's definitely career oriented it's networking okay so <laughs> i can't believe that came out again let's take a card for what you need to know which is that you are having a fortunate new beginning. <laughs> okay. This is very fast, positive, moving energy, and a lot of it. So what this says to me is this beginning is going to come in quickly. Okay. Okay. A lot of fast-moving energy. All right. What you don't see. The harmony and balance in your external environment. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Okay, the clarification for what you don't see is the same as your overall energy judgment. So, I think you're going to be able to start seeing it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You might not see it at the moment, but it's coming. You're going to be able to see it. You're going to be able to see that harmony and balance. And that everything is changing for the better. You're tuning into this higher frequency and you are going to start seeing it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay. Now let's get a card for your potential future. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. Okay, this says that you are going to be very happy with your abundance. So that's beautiful. This is a beautiful reading. Mm -hmm. No wonder you have the happy, happy right there. Okay. Learning how to take care of resources. Going through a huge awakening. And it's clarified by this really ambitious, energetic go-getter. So you are definitely in the go get it done mode your challenge is having these two new beginnings one filled with love and happiness and joy and the other being playful and fun but paying attention to all the opportunities that are there for you and this says pack light don't bring any negativity okay and this new beginning is coming from something that has happened where you were focused grieving on so these spilled cups, which I would say definitely has to do with something from the past. Okay? In your strength. Times two is your thinking clearly and communicating in your future. Remember, you had this times two. And then later it came out again, the chariot. And you have both the king and queen of wands so that is more powerful than what it would be otherwise, which is powerful. These are court cards, okay? And they're more powerful than these cards, okay? Your focus, dropping the burdens and going forward with strength, ambition, very fast, positive moving energy for your new beginning, fortunate new beginning. And what you don't see is this awakening, but you are going to start seeing it. Just look at these cards. And the potential future is you being totally content with your life and being totally content with your abundance. Beautiful. Don't forget, there might be some documents, mail, something, and it could have to do with this. You know, this wonderful new beginning. You're happy, 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 happy. And maybe a new romantic cycle, or if you're already in one, maybe it's a resurgence of it. And be open to infinite possibility, because it looks like beautiful times are ahead. Okay, let's get some cards from the universe, and whoa, see what they would like to share. The card that... <laughs> made me work for it that I had to go get is the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is an absolutely wonderful card to come out if you are starting something new, if you're having a new beginning, because it is the slowest moving knight in the deck. And all knights are the hardest working cards in the deck. And this particular knight is all about planning and creating this solid foundation and implementing, you know, getting everything started. So since you are having a new beginning times three, right? This is a beautiful energy because it will help make this solid foundation, this stable beginning. So what you build on it will be solid and strong. So it's beautiful. And thought you'd like to see this too at the bottom of the deck 
And you have the Ace of Cups. I'm pulling this card, which is this card. So again, that's the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. That's absolutely beautiful reading. If I could quit dropping the cards. Okay. You have the Two of Pentacles. And what this is saying to me is you are creating balance. Which is going to bring this forward. The balance and harmony. Mm -hmm. You're creating the balance in your life that you need and want. Okay, one more card. Okay, right. <laughs> Another new beginning. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, this beginning is also a wonderful beginning. This beginning is where you are supposed to follow your passion, okay? It is one where you're highly motivated and energized and filled with new ideas that inspire growth. And you know that a world of possibility is opening up. So follow your passion. So how many new beginnings is that? A lot. Absolutely beautiful reading. I hope you have a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you can do all this in a short time. It might extend out a little. Okay. Let's get a turn. And I don't look, so I never know, and sometimes I get teased. Let's see what we have. No, look. Absolutely beautiful. This is saying that the angels are with you, guiding you and helping you through this. This is like, ah, it gives me chills. It's like the icing on the cake. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you like this format, please uh, drop it in the comments and let me know or hit the like button, okay? It'll help. Thank you. Have a wonderful time. Much love.